Do you know what happens when you combine Copilot with Microsoft Fabric Notebooks? Let's find out. Welcome to the video. My name is Alexia, and on this channel, I cover all things Azure. And today, our topic is going to be Copilot in Microsoft Fabric Notebooks. Lately, I have been experimenting with Copilot in Microsoft Fabric. And in this video, I'm going to focus on notebooks. I'm going to show you how you can use Copilot to write your code, comment your code, fix your errors, and do many other cool things. But now, without further ado, let's fire up the fabric and let's check out the Copilot in Notebooks. Now we have the fabric open here. Let's first create a new notebook and let's name the notebook according to our naming conventions. Then we want to attach a lake house to this notebook. And let's use an existing lake house that I've already created previously. And now we are ready to enable the Copilot in this notebook. The Copilot can be found in the top bar if you have required prerequisites fulfilled for you to use the Copilot. Clicking this Copilot icon will open up this sidebar where we can click Get Started to enable the Copilot in this notebook. This opens up the Copilot chat and also adds one new cell to our notebook. And now let's run this new cell that Copilot created here. This will install all the required Python packages that are needed for our chat magics to work in our notebook that I'm going to demonstrate to you in this video. This will take a while, so I will speed things up. After pip installed all the required dependencies, we get this little nice information package here about the Copilot. It is very important that you read this through, since this contains a lot of valuable and important information about the Copilot and how to use it in the notebook. I'm not going to go through this information through in that detail level, but this provides you with things like what is the model that is being used on the background, and how the data that you are inputting is being used, and what they are sharing and what they are not sharing, and so on. But you should read it through before using this. But now let's scroll down a bit and here we can find information about the chat magic commands that we are going to demonstrate in this video. These chat magic commands are commands that allow you to use Copilot directly in your notebook cells. So you don't have to use the chat that can be found in the right sidebar. Today we are going to focus on main commands that are the main commands for the Copilot in the notebook. First command that is being listed here is the chat command that allows asking questions about your notebook state or let the chat magic help you to understand or author it. And then we have the code that generates code, then a describe that will describe a data frame, and then we have add comments that will basically add comments to a cell, and then fix errors that will fix errors if you have any in your cell, and then we have a translate command that will translate code from one language to another. And on top of these main commands, we have some configuration commands and context commands that we are not going to focus on today. But now let's move into the exciting part of the video and let's get some data to our notebook. I will use this table game info from my lake house that contains information about video games and what are the ratings and what are the developers and when the game was published, etc. Let's just drag and drop this game info table here so the notebook will automatically create the statement for reading it to, into a data frame. Let's rename our data frame into game info df and let's display that. And here we have the data and we can just briefly check out how does it look. So we have quite a many columns in this data set and we are going to use few in this demonstration. And now let's use the Copilot to do the coding work for us. So now I want to just describe for the Copilot what I want to do with the data and I will let the Copilot to do the actual coding. And let's check out then what is the result. First I will add this code magic command and then I will describe for the Copilot what I want to do with the data. And now I want it to create a new data frame from the game info df and then select only these columns and set their data types according to these instructions. So I want the name column as string, rating as decimal, developers as string, and released as date. Then I want to filter out the data frame by only selecting rows where developers contain string Nintendo. Then I want to also extract year from date column to a new column called release year that has an integer data type. And then I want to show the final data frame. And now let's run this cell and let's see what happens. And after our magic cell ran successfully, we can see that the copilot created a new cell under that cell. 
It also added this little print disclaimer that remember that AI can make mistakes, so carefully review the code before executing, which is a very important point since you should never trust the copilot blindly and just use the code without understanding what it does. But now the code seems to be good, so let's try to run this. Oh, but it didn't work. It threw an error. Name year is not defined. So the copilot didn't succeed coding this correctly. What could we do now? We could try the fix errors magic command. So let's add this fix errors magic command to the first row in this cell. And let's see what happens when we run this cell. And now this cell finished and we can see that it removed the fix errors magic command and also modified the code. It also printed this explanation what went wrong and what was needed to fix this. Let's try to run this cell now after the copilot fixed those errors that we had previously. And now the code seems to work and it printed out the data frame schema. Actually, I wanted to show the final data frame, but maybe I communicated a bit poorly to the copilot. So let's fix this code manually by adding a display command so we can see the actual data. And now let's rerun this cell. And now we can see that our data looks good. Next, let's try the add comments magic command for this cell. And let's see what happens. Let's add that magic command and then let's run this cell again. And now we can see that the copilot added a bunch of comments to this cell describing what happens in the code. Of course, the copilot here just describes what is happening technically in the code and what the code is doing, but it doesn't tell why the things are done. That is, in my opinion, the more important comment to add, because if you know how to read code, you can basically figure out these things by yourself. Next, let's add an SQL query to this notebook that will select the game counts per developers from the game info table and filter out few unnecessary developers out from the dataset. And now let's run this SQL query. It ran fine. And now let's demonstrate what the translate magic command does. So let's replace that SQL magic command with translate magic command and let's run our cell. And after running this cell with that translate magic command, Copilot creates this new cell under this cell that has translated this code into a Python that will basically do the same thing that my SQL query did. And in this case, Copilot also added some comments to that code, which is also nice. Now we can run this code that Copilot created and let's see if it works. And it seems to work fine. Next, I would like to use the copilot for visualizing the data that we just created. So I will add another code magic command and tell it to select only top 10 developers based on count from the DF sorted and then visualize the data to a bar chart. Let's run this cell and let's see what happens. And again, the copilot creates the code for us and we can run this and see what kind of visualizations we get. And here we have the bar chart top 10 developers by count. And we can also see that the names of the developers are not really matching that well with the bars. But still, Copilot did okay job for creating this bar chart for us. Next, let's try the chat magic command in our cell. So let's add chat magic command and then let's tell the Copilot to describe the DF sorted and what kind of transformations were done to the data in the data frame. And let's run this cell and let's see what happens. And as a result, Copilot gives us this quite nice and lengthy explanation what were the transformations that were done for that specific data frame. Also, it is very interesting that Copilot provides this little insight what this data could be used for, which is very interesting in my opinion. And I can already see how in the future Copilot can be very helpful when doing documentation for your notebooks. Next, we can check out this Copilot chat that has been open here all the time. And this chat is basically this kind of a chat GPT type chat UI to Copilot where we can ask some questions and get some code out. For example, we could ask, how can I read my game info table from my lake house to a pandas data frame? And then the copilot will provide this small code snippet for us that we can use to do that operation that we requested, which is quite nice. So we wouldn't have to use some external AI assistant like chat GPT or something because we have the copilot already integrated directly to the notebook, which is quite nice. And that is all that I wanted to cover today. 
If you found this topic interesting, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Azure and Fabric content. Also, if you have any suggestions that you would like to see me cover in the upcoming videos, leave some comments down below. And now I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.